Welcome to Behind the News. I'm your host Halima Sadia and I am joined with two PPC candidates from the riding of Unionville and Ajax. I have with me Suzanne Rousseau. She is PPC candidate from Ajax and Sara Chung. She is also PPC candidate from Markham Unionville. I welcome you both to my studio today. Thank you. Thank you so much for the invite. Okay. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, same here. So let's start with uh, with this thing that you must have started your campaign and door knocking mm -hmm. now. So what is your feedback? How do you feel about it? And what is the response of people you're getting? I'll start with Sarah and then you can sure. go ahead with that. Uh, to be honest, um, many people do not know uh, PPC. So we really work hard uh, to reach every single uh, voter uh, through many ways of marketing strategies. Uh, like, for example, we fall, we knock, and we put up the sign as early as possible so that people get to find out, you know, do some Google search and find out what is PPC and who are the leaders and what is our platform. Yeah. So what about you, Suzanne? What are your experiences? Well, so there far? is some truth to what Sarah said, but then when we end, end up at people's door and we start talking to them and they're excited because they, where there's a, a third alternative now and it's a, uh, they're excited about an alternative that actually speaks to them. Yeah. So when you yeah. explain to them about PPC party, so what kind of reaction or what kind of response they give to you? Sarah, I'll start with you. Uh, they say they really like our platform, especially the tax, our you know, flat tax, 10% for business owners, and my writing have many business owners, and as well as the 15% uh, tax for a certain uh, cap. But flat rates are very attractive, attractive to them. Uh, secondly, I think the immigration policy, they really like it. And they want, not that we are anti-immigration, uh, we want uh, to help every single immigrant to be successful in Canada, uh, to be able to integrate to the society as early as possible to uh, help them to find jobs. Uh, yeah, I, they like the immigration and multiculturalism, the free speech, that's the most important thing. They really like the freedom of expression, the freedom of belief. Yeah, that's my experience. So Suzanne, what is your feedback for the party when you explain them about PPC? Well, they're excited that Max is such a fearless leader and they're, I think Canadians <laughs> are looking for a leader who wants to speak for them on behalf of them and instill in Canada and carry forward the val values that Canadians do value and that uh, are important to Canada as a whole. So, and, and Max is also willing to speak to issues that other parties will ignore or don't want to deal with. And Max is fearless in that respect. So, it's, so it's exciting. Uh, when we see the sensitive political scenario, what is the potential outcome? Do you think uh, PPC is going to win, Sarah? I think so. Uh, I, I was an athlete. I competed at the Olympics, uh, a high level you know, athlete, uh, I would say, uh, high performance. I always think positive uh, in whatever I do. I do think that uh, PPC has the chance to win. Uh, thus, I tell people that. And even though people may have a uh, different answer about it, but I do believe that we can win. So, Sen, what's your take on that? I'm going to go out on a limb and say Max is going to have a majority government because I think that our policies are so well thought out and so workable and speak to Canadians that I think that he's, uh, he's going to do very well. Yeah. So w when we door knock and we explain about uh, the new party, do you think that people grasp the idea? What is your feedback? I, I think on the whole people are uh, excited that there is an alternative, like I said before. And I think that uh, they're looking, like I said also, that they want someone who speaks on their behalf because that's been lacking for quite a while and Max is is very vocal on, on yeah. speaking very, very um, openly about the fact that he's there for Canadians and he is putting Canadians first. And I think people are excited about that. So Sarah, do you think we are prepared? Because as we see right now, things are going backward. We are more and more political, going towards polit political correctness. And we are more towards shunning, oh no, we should not talk this, this is racism. So in that kind of atmosphere, do you think uh, we are going to make any political dent? Yeah, I think we can make a difference. Uh, many people think that you know correct uh, political correctness is really not a good sign and we always have to go against it and we have to speak the truth the most important thing is we have to speak the truth we have to encourage uh, participation in a debate uh, at, <coughs> at different level 
uh, so that we have that intellectual stimulation. Otherwise, if we are not allowed to speak, express our thoughts, how are we going to improve? How are we going to uh, have uh, different opinion and so that we improve, right? Sometimes sometime discussion, uh, different opinions are actually good for us. So your take, Suzanne? I think Max is making a huge dent in, in, in Canadians. Um, he speaks to Canadians and he speaks values that Canadians hold inherently as, um, you know, freedom-loving people and, and Max is all about giving power back to the people in that respect. So it, when, you, when you talk about the issues you just brought up, it's, it's, we're not about, you know, um, we're not about putting walls up and, and creating barriers and, and creating yeah. cliques and, and groups. We're about taking all that down and, and creating a, a unified country which, where everybody has, you know, shares the same values that we all share as Canadians, no matter where we come from. So I, I think that uh, on the whole, it's, it's something that uh, people are, are willing to uh, jump on board with Max and get on the Max train, so to speak. So yeah. let's come back to the point you have raised, actually, that debates are needed. So yes. are you, uh, have you been invited to political debates so far? Or do you have any problem because of being a new party? So what is your feedback on that? I've been once so far. I hope more are coming. How I feel about it, uh, I like it. I get the chance to tell people PPC and my party leader and the party platforms. I do like it. I, I hope more are coming. So how about you, Suzanne? Because we, we are having, like some candidates are having real big trouble, especially in Mississauga, that they are not being invited, not being encouraged to come and have debates. So what is your take on that? Imagine how the leader of the second largest party in Canada, the fastest growing political movement in this country, is, has you know, candidates who are, um, their speech is being stifled. It's, we actually, I actually am invited to a, a debate coming up on the 26th, and I'm looking forward to it because we're going to make another dent, especially when Max speaks on the 7th. But every little, it's, it's like taking Canada back one writing at a time, and I think we're going to be doing that very well this year. So Maxime was yeah. not invited in, uh, uh, in the very big debate, which, yeah. is, which is McLean's debate. So do you think people are scared, afraid, or opponents are having already the sense? What do you think? I think they're scared. Yeah. I, I do think, do I do think feel so? it. I, feel I think like, so, yes. because I think that, you know, the, the, the other parties are so collectively, um, collectively the same in their ideology. And Max speaks to something that's entirely different and entirely workable and, and, and wholly puts Canadians first. And I think that they're afraid to get that message out because Canadians are looking for that type of leader. And that leader is Max. And, you know, the more he speaks and the more he gets the word out, the more they're going to run scared. It's, it's wonderful to watch. <laughs> so one of the most important points of PPC is gender equality, which mm -hmm. we emphasize yeah. on more. Yeah. But Justin Trudeau was talking about making the equation into the parliament for the candidates, uh, female and male. What's your take on that? How would, how would you see that? How would you explain it to your um, uh, viewers? For me, um, I was a former teacher and I was a former Olympian. I always value marriage. I think marriage should come first, not, uh, not gender. Uh, why? Because uh, if we always focus on uh, gender balance, and then how are we going to encourage our kids to work hard? What's the purpose of work hard? Well, the purpose of work hard is to achieve your goals. Right? So if you want to achieve your goal, you, re you really have to work hard. And depending on your goals, therefore, I believe in marriage instead of um, whatever formula is out there. Thanks. So your take, Suzanne? Well, I think that, um, again, the current climate in Canada is such that um, they create um, cliques and, and, and they, they give jobs out based on gender, like you just said. But it, ideally, you would have the, per the perfect person doing the job, regardless of gender. And, you know, they, they've created such an environment now that you have in legislation that you know creates situations where jobs are leaving this country because of that exact issue 
So why is it such, why, why can't you just have jobs in an economy based on individuals who are suited to the job, to the best of their ability? And that's what we have to bring back here. Yeah. That is very well put yeah. and actually we should emphasize on the, the kind of output that person can, as Absolutely. a person they yeah. can deliver or right. they can't deliver, that is And the, the fact that the government now has actually put into legislation the fact that companies working, especially on large scale projects in this country, have to have that gender uh, equality in there. It's Talk about stifling economics. I mean, you have to, the government's job is to create an environment where jobs are created, mm -hmm. not to create the job necessarily, because if you're going to put money into a program that is going to create 3,000 jobs, what about the other jobs that, you know, people are waiting to have? So create an environment where you lower taxes, cause, because our policies are created to lower taxes on and, and every gamut of, of different uh, different levels of, of government and, and programs and, and um, businesses and, and personal income, you know. So create an environment where people have more mo more of their own money in their pocket, so that if they have to put a specific amount of money to whatever their circumstances are according to their age or their um, home life or home. Uh, businesses or whatever they have that money to do it it's not the government's job to oversee that it's people's personal responsibility we're trying to emphasize and trying to encourage here and I think we have the perfect pro platform to do that I it's really basically do. gender equality does not mean professional equality professional no, equality not by any means, yeah. Yeah. based on yeah. abilities how yeah. the person is capable how much she's capable or she's capable for that and I like that a lot that mm -hmm. uh, yes we should all as person and individual be able to handle our money by ourselves. Absolutely. We yeah. should be working on personal responsibilities, right. which is PPCs yes. very big. So yeah. let's let's talk about the media. So media is uh -huh. one of the most important uh, actor in all this political scenario. So what is your uh, feedback so far, how they are treating the PPCs? So far, in all honesty, the media that I've been de dealing with so far has been very um, very, they've been very forthcoming with us. They've worked with us very well. We've actually had issues, you know, going to restaurants and, and pubs asking us to, you know, maybe leave or that's, that's more of an issue that we've had. But the media for us has been, they've been worked work with, with us very well. So yeah. Sarah, what is your feedback? My feedback is so far so good. It depends on uh, who am I comparing with. Once you get the chance to compare, then you know where you stand. So far so good. Unless I see uh, other candidates have more or other parties candidates have more opportunity than me, then I will have the chance to to comment more about it. Okay. Yeah. I thank you both for being with us today and sharing your views and wish you very good luck for your upcoming elections. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. It's you. been a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you for that. It's always me. important to know about your candidate, how they think, the party and how it is important to be Canadian and Canada first. So with these words, thank you very much for watching Behind the News with me today.